Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover Spring Boot interview question. This is the part three. Before this, I have already uploaded two parts. If you haven't checked, please go and check and let's get started. So the first question is, how can we monitor our Spring Boot application? So to monitor our Spring Boot application, we can use Spring Boot actuator. By using this actuator, we can monitor our application, gather metrics, understand traffic or the state of our database. So to enable this Spring Boot actuator endpoint in our application, we have to add this dependency. So we will quickly move on to Spring Tool Suite. I'll show you what exactly this dependency is and what exactly this Spring Boot actuator endpoints are. So this is my Spring Tool Suite. I have added, the, I have created this dummy application. We'll go to the form.xml file. So yeah, I'll, this is the dependency. I'll just quickly uncomment it. So this is the Spring Boot starter actuator. Now we will run our application. So first we will check our application is running on which port. So nothing is defined. So it will run on the default port that is 8080. Okay. So in the previous video, I have shown how we can change the port as well if you want to. Okay. Now we will move on to the Google Chrome and I'll show you the endpoint. So we'll go localhost 8080. We'll print, we'll run this actuator. It has given me the health check. Now, if you want to check the proper health, so we will go and check this health. Yeah, it shows the status is up. That means our uh, currently our server is up and our application is up and running. Now we will move on to the. So these are the endpoints which other than health, these are the endpoints which actuator provide. So which we can use to know the monitor, uh, to know and monitor our application. Like we have a metric to know about the memory then environment then we have bean active beans and scope of the beans health info trace actually this spring boot actuator is a very big topic so in this video i have just covered it as a part of interview question so in the upcoming video i will create a separate video on spring boot actuator and where i will explain all these endpoints as well okay so for that you have to subscribe to my youtube channel okay so now move on to the next question so how to disable a specific auto configuration we can disable it by using exclude. So what exactly is exclude? How to use? Why to use? This whole question we will discuss in the Spring Tool Suite. So yeah. So here is my main class. In this main class, uh, we have used this enable auto configuration annotation and we have used this exclude. So here, we will stop the server. Here I am going, I am trying to exclude this particular class to get auto configured when our application runs. So this is how you can exclude a particular class if you want to. Okay, so this enable auto configuration is a part of Spring Boot application only. So this is the beauty of Spring Boot that it is loosely coupled. That is, we can use any annotation as a separate also. Okay, so now we will move on to the next question. Yeah, so the next question is, suppose uh, how to read a property defined in application properties file into your Java class. Okay, suppose you have defined some uh, a value in the properties file some constant or something and you want to read that in your java file how you can do do it so this can be done by using the at value so we will move on to the spring tool suit i'll give you the proper practical example so this is my application property so here suppose i am giving one key okay so here i gave key as name and value i gave as interview mania my youtube channel name okay so name I have given, I am giving as interview mania. Now I want to read this value in my Java class. How we can do is I will go to the controller class. This dummy controller I have created. Don't worry, don't worry this rest controller at get mapping. I will explain you each and everything in detail in my upcoming videos. Okay. Now suppose I want to read that particular value. Okay. So for that we have to use this annotation at value. And we have to read that so for that we have to use this dollar sign and in this we have to give the key key was name right so here we will use hello plus name so whatever value we are getting from there we have to pass that value to some variable so i'm using it as a name only okay so i will give it a name now we will start the server Okay, so the server got started. Now we will check is it 
really reading the value from the application dot property file or not for that we will go here and we will run demo yeah right hello interview mania so this value is been so our java class is reading this value from the application dot property file okay now suppose uh, there is one more developer in your team who by mistake deletes this okay and now you are trying to run the application again so what will happen yes it has returned you an exception because it is trying to read this value which is not present in the application or property file so this can be done right this can be i mean this is a very basic problem which can occur at any time so to avoid this problem what we can do is we will we can give a default value okay then how to give a default value we can give like this like hello subscribe and give subscribe to my channel i'm giving like this okay now we will run the application again at this time it should not get failed okay yes it is up and running so what happens it will first try to read this value i mean this value annotation will try to first read this value from the application or property file if that well key is not present there then it will give a default value this is the default value now i'll show you hello subscribe to my to my channel so this value is a default value because it is not it was not able to get this particular key from the application dot property so it gave the default value so this question is also been asked to the uh, in the interview questions okay actually i whenever i take the interview i know 100% of the people will be knowing this but there are very few people who know about this default thing so that's why i thought of covering this in the in this video okay now move on to the next question so the next question is spring profiling okay so we know in our application we have different environments like we run our application as a developer in the local environment then we push to this dev environment then qa then stage then to the prod so every environment database connection will be different right the connection host name and the port will be different right so what happens like when we are running in the uh, local first thing is we can define in the uh, this right uh, the application dot properties or in the java class so now when we have when we are defining the uh, java class so when we push our application to the dev then again we have to change the uh, properties right then to the qa again we have to change it so it's it makes the application very messy and very you know it increase the time of the developer right so to make the things very quick and clean spring boot provide uh, provides profiling so what exactly is we will move on to the i mean this was all, all the theory now we will move on to the practical things okay now uh, we will keep all this thing same so this is our application so first i'll show you one thing whenever we run our application i think uh, 70% of the people or 80% never notice this so whenever we run the application in the logs if you check there is something called no active profile set falling back to the default profile so this is our default profile okay so it is falling back to the default profile now if i create one active profile here i am creating dev profile and now i'll create the prod profile generally there are going to be many other environments like dev qa stage so here i'm just creating prod for the demo purpose okay so yeah so these two i have created now suppose here i'll stop the server here i give name name as subscribe okay and here i'm giving i'm just copying the same key and value here i'm just giving the same key here okay and here i'm using subscribe to my channel okay now in this default profile wherever it will fall uh, each and every time here we are giving like active profile equal to dev that i want to read the properties of the dev file okay so now here i will just remove this that so that it should not give the default value now if i may, if i run my application yeah 
so our application is up and running now here if you read this value the following profiles are active dev so at this time our dev profile is active so this value annotation will read this name key i mean the value for this name key from the dev profile okay now i'll show you yeah so here if you see hello subscribe so it is reading the value from the dev environment properties okay so now suppose i want to read the value from the prod environment prod environment we have subscribed to my channel so we will go to application or property here from dev i will keep it to prod okay now again i will run my application so actually what happens whenever we start the application so the it first goes and reads the uh, default profile which is application or property then here it is finding this particular entry right then it is going to that particular profiling like it is reading prod right then it will go to the prod so the flow is first it will run the default that is application or property inside that if we have defined this then whatever the name we have defined it will go to the other one so now if you see here it will show you the active the following profiles are active that is at this time prod is active now we will go to the yeah hello subscribe to my channel so this value subscribe to my channel is coming from the prod environment right so this is how you can explain them about this uh, uh, profiling so if you will tell them in the you know the proper uh, practical way or explain them then it will be very good and the interviewer will be happy and he will be more than sufficient now we will move on to the next question so this is kind of a, the next question kind of a question which shows to the interviewer that you are actually working into the spring boot okay because uh, see the question is to make our development smooth and clean what we use i mean interviewer can ask you what is dev tools and how do you uh, you know how uh, the spring boot makes the uh, life of a developer easy so uh, this is the thing you can use the dev tool actually this question will if you see other interview question this question will never be there it will never be uh, written in any of the prof, uh, blog or in any any of the other interview channel uh, youtube channel so i have covered this because it shows that to the interviewer that you are actually working in the spring boot okay so now we will just i'll tell you what exactly is this i'll just copy this dependency okay and i will put it into the pom.xml file yeah, i will save this now what exactly is that suppose we are working on an application right and now i want to one add one some like suppose okay let me give you example okay now my application is up and running if you see here yeah hello subscribe to my channel okay now i want to add something okay now suppose i want to add something like uh, here or anywhere i mean any new fields or something you want to add like suppose i want to add here thanks so previously what you we used to do is we used to close the server we used to add it we used to run the server again okay so with the help of spring uh, this dev tools we will just add this we will just click on control s and the server will get re, uh, restarted by itself we don't need to start the server again okay so i just added this i haven't started the server again right so if i'll print try to run it yeah thanks came by itself so it means this is the benefit of using spring dev tools like it makes the life of a developer very easy and interviewer can ask this question to actually check whether the person has really worked on spring boot or he is just bluffing okay so in this video this much only if you liked my video please subscribe to my channel share the video with your friends help them to get a good salary and a good job with some good company yeah that's it thank you